Welcome everyone. Um, this afternoon I thought that I would try a new mark making tool. I've never used one of these before. Uh, it's I guess a calligraphy pen, the old fashioned ones with the tip. And they come with all these different tips. And usually when I start a new painting, I just do a lot of mark making on the first layer and all of my paintings require various layers. So um, before we start, I just wanted to show you an 11 by 14 <clears throat> that I finished this week. And uh, I think it's beautiful. I've actually been using a new color called um, Golden Sun or Sun Gold, I think. Sun Gold by Nova Color. And um, I had had it on the shelf for a while. I don't know why, but I was a little intimidated to use it, but I think it's my one of my new favorite colors. As long as I don't go overboard and use it too much, but I think this one came out really nice. I'm happy with it. Um, and I've had an artist friend of mine say that it reminded her of Stairway to Heaven, uh, the song. And I actually named it Saudad. I don't know if you've heard of the word, but it's a Portuguese term that refers to um, like a soulful longing of a place in time, a people. Um, and uh, it's just, when I was painting it, I was just reminiscing about my childhood and how much love and uh, friendship that I was surrounded by when I was growing up in Portugal, so I called it so that, but I can see how Stairway to Heaven would be appropriate for this one too. So I just wanted to share that with you and um, I thought it might be fun to uh, do some mark making and see if you enjoy that. You might find it relaxing. So here's the idea is we get some ink out and so mark making requires just a whole bunch of different tools, even things you can get out in nature um, to create different things. We can start off like this and you can even get a spray or a brush, do a brush. I think I have the spray on right now. And then just kind of spread it around. That's what I like about these acrylic inks. They're really fun um, to use because they're very fluid and they kind of have a mind of their own and depending on what tool you use you can create different different marks or how you press the brush it can go soft you can leave it okay more loose. So sometimes I paint sitting down and for the inks it's actually helpful um, because you can control them better but sometimes I don't want so much control so I may actually put it on my easel and let the inks kind of do what they want. Um, so that's fun. It gets, gets you started. It's kind of referred to as activating the canvas so that you're not staring at this <clears throat> white canvas that sometimes can be a little intimidating. Uh, so you just, for me anyway, I just practice my mark making. And let's put this down. Let's try and see what that does. And get these out of the way. Okay. So, definitely feels different than doing it on paper. This is paper actually, but I gessoed it first. And um, so there's a little bit of friction. And even though I like the marks, 
creating the feel of it isn't as doesn't flow as well as when I was practicing it on just some loose print that I had. I do like the swirls and the marks that it creates. And you can do them nice and loose, or you can do them nice and pretty tight. That's what I was writing. It's actually so nice. It feels so much better than a standard pen. This really feels like you're creating a piece of art and not just you know writing for the sake of writing. That's great. So that's one way of making a mark. Then we can come back here and get the, let's see. Take the shaper. I don't think that'll be run to do enough water. Get a little bit of water. And we can put that down. And it doesn't seem to run very much, which is good in a way. If you want those marks to stay where you want them. And then you can come back with another. Let's try the aqua ink. And now that it's already wet, it's going to create a different effect and a different mark. So if we drop that onto the wet spot, see, see, it's already starting to um, diffuse itself. And it's a really pretty color. Um, let's get a shaper. So this is a different... Um, it's not a brush, they call it a shaper. It's made out of silicon. Now let's see what this does. It kind of just smears the paint around in different shapes. And you can't control it and that's, you know, you can control it to a different extent, but it kind of surprises you with the marks that it creates. And I enjoy little surprises. And if I don't like it, I can always cover it up. That's part of the fun of using acrylic paints is that you can layer upon layer and you can enhance what you like and cover up what you don't like. And it's just a great way of expressing your feelings, your thoughts. Um, you know, sensations for me. Um, I love journaling and part of my painting process is really just a different way of journaling for me. Um, and so whether I'm feeling in a particular mood and I want to express that on paper, so if I'm upset or sad or angry or happy or joyful, that'll come through. But sometimes I want to capture a scene um, you know, that I see out in nature and a photograph doesn't do it justice. And so I want to be able to capture that experience, that sensation that I'm feeling in the moment um, on paper. And that's what abstract painting is for me. It's, it's a way of capturing the actual essence of the moment and not necessarily the realism um, because I have photographs for that. So, so that's another way that we can do it. Um, another way we can use, let's pick a different color. Let's try, let's see. Um, oh, this is a nice one. Cherry red. Is that the, yeah, we have crimson as well, but I think we'll do the cherry and see. Oh, red, violet. I like that better. Okay, so let's try a different way of applying the ink and see what kind of mark we can create with that. So now I'm dropping the paint on a dry um, 
dry paper. And you'll notice too that the different colors actually have different consistencies. Some are actually thicker and some are thinner. Um, and you can always affect that with, by adding water. But I want to see what it does with just coming out of the bottle and see what happens. So this is called a brayer. Um, and this is dry. It's just another silicone kind of thing. And let's see. Well, that's kind of fun. I like all the little spots that it's creating. gets on top of the aqua kind of creates a different color too. So I like that effect. And it's interesting because I have a piece of paper here that I use just to kind of clean off my um, brushes and things. And I was remarking that I do like the effect that's on here. And I think, I don't remember exactly, but I think it might have been uh, with the brayer. But I think that effect is really interesting. Let's see. So that's fun. What else do we have? And you can get anything. You can get uh, pieces of long grass from outside. Um, I, mean, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can create your own mark making tools. I have um, some right here. This is just, I think it was just a, a roll of toilet paper or something that I got. Uh, let's see. What else can we put down? Maybe, let's put maybe some yellow. Let's try some yellow. All right. So with this one, I think I'm going to put some water down because and we'll see what happens. And that's the fun, fun part is that when you just apply it and then you see how it develops. And things happen that you really couldn't it wouldn't happen if you intended it to happen. So I'm going to use this, which is, there's no, con really, um, there's no control over this thing. It does what it wants. And that's the idea. So let's see what happens. I find that this one works better with acrylic paints, not so much with the inks. Um, showing less of a grit to it, but it did create an interesting effect. It's a subtle one, but it's interesting. So I'll put that one back. And then what else do we want to do before we change over to acrylics? So of course there's, um, you know, water soluble crayons that you can use. And the ones I use are called Caran d'Ache um, crayons. And they come in an assortment of colors. They're beautiful crayons that come out um, very soft on the paper. Um, let's see, we'll try this one and see what happens. So this one is called Neo Color 2 Aquarelle and it's Rose. And again, we're just activating the canvas uh, and you put down certain marks. Whatever comes to you, just, just let the, you know, just let the marks be free and let them flow because we know that a lot of this is going to get covered up. And this is just to get, to get loose. There we go. And there's many other things. I mean, there's, 
plethora of things you can do for mark making. Here's one. These are watercolor, water soluble crayons. They're went in ink tents. These are beautiful watercolor um, pencils. They're great. They feel great. They go on really nice and smooth. And you know, you can change the way you hold the pencil. That creates a different mark. And as I go over the water, it starts to um, spread and dilute, which is also nice. It's a nice little nice surprise. And as it goes over the yellow, the color starts to change to a warmer magenta. So there's all these little surprises that start to happen that as you're doing this, it becomes about the process, about the sensations, about what's happening and how you're reacting to it. So that really made me smile, the way that's changing as it um, interacts with the water and with the yellow. So it's these little experiences that I love and that's why I like abstract, one of the reasons I like abstract paintings. Um, because there's these just these surprises that happen that you couldn't plan on it and uh, hmm. oops sorry about that so if I were to go over that with a brush now I could make it as diffuse as I want to by adding more water so that becomes more diffuse, not as intense. And that might be an effect that you like or want. But again, it's about the process, like right here, what just happened there, that really felt good to me. So I'm gonna leave that the, the way it is. And I'm gonna follow that up. Because that, that mark to me, the way it was created, feels good and it looks good so I'm going to leave that like that and I've always loved script um, penmanship um, so some of these marks that I'm making kind of have the flow of a letter you know it has that um, almost lyrical feel to them and I think that's part of the reason I like it. I also think that they remind me of um, plants and grasses and fields. So, so on a more sort of subconscious level, somewhere in there, um, I'm reminded of things like that. And that's part of probably why I like these. And of course the colors I just love um, flowers and prairies. So every time I, I see, you know, certain vibrant colors, it just transports me right to the gardens and to the prairies. And so there's got to be something that connects me to that. But sometimes it's just about the way a mark feels to me, you know, how it feels to create the mark. It's expressive, it's almost like a dance. Like this would be like a, a long, see that I like, just did that with a shaper and some water. So if you can see that. And so it diluted it, but it also spread it around and I like that. That was fun. Let's create this one too. And here we have the crayons and the pencils and so seems like the ink tents are diluting a little bit and diffusing a little bit more easily than the karandash, which is fine because they create different marks and that's what you want. That's what creates interest is the contrast of marks and colors and textures um, that you can create. It makes something interesting. This area is starting to look pretty interesting too. I'm 
that's why I like the shaper as well because um, it's not like a brush that um, you can direct it to do what you want more so. And the shaper kind of has a little bit of a mind of its own and surprises you sometimes with what it does. And again, this is just the first layer. I'm activating the canvas or the paper. Um, and I'm seeing what feels good and what I want to do more of and what I want to do less of. And, and that's actually, you know, one of the more fun parts of the painting is when they start off like this. And then they evolve and turn into something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I found it relaxing. And I hope it inspired you to try some yourself. Have a good day.